Um, did you ever hear that bad streakers in the early middle 70s? Streaker as a new phenomenon, a new fad, a new almost art that is attracting attention because people ever witnessed it that way before. What it was telling us was that everybody's getting dressed up and they have nowhere to go. So all the abundance, all the rapid movies with the special speedy effects that people have experienced over the last 40 years are attempts to stimulate and create a counter to the fact that you are paralyzed in a resonating environment that does not have any space or time dimensions of duration or movement. And so the speaker said, everybody's getting dressed up and going, uh, and going nowhere fast. So he mimed it by saying, I'll take my clothes off because that's your real condition. You are naked. And I will uh, show a streaking uh, effect, but it's still just a rear view mirror image. Everybody is paralyzed in the yes, no the time. The imagery, they think they're only chemicals, which is another reason new way, the new age culture or the spiritual renaissance is going on that the Dalai Lama represents in a lot of, for a lot of people, is that people feel intuit that the 3D image of the body is not the whole case. Now the reason it isn't, it's been extended by the TV landscape, the TV body, the chip landscape and the chip body. But everybody intuits is more than what I can see. That's, that's a given in study. You'll see these kind of values uh, presented in corporate commercials, you know, from or uh, government motors or any kind of slick product. The, the natural perception today, last 30 years, that the baby boomers celebrated and made lots of money writing books on it, you know, Deepak Chopra and these people, uh, and then Generation X, their versions of it. I don't know any off from that level, uh, right off the hand. Maybe Matt Groening in the Simpsons cartoon show. All these ideas are acceptable and evoke comfortable humor because people recognize they're not the 3D body anymore. But they don't understand that they've been te technologically adapted, technologically put in a matrix, and the movie The Matrix doesn't even begin to touch on the matrix you're in, and it's not a bad thing. What you hear most people come is they're complaining about The Matrix. And so that the spoken word becomes the new drug. And you can have panic words, that would be um, Alex Jones. You can have all-American, perfect America words, that's Rush Limbaugh. Uh, you could have um, sophisticated, postmodern word talk, uh, that would be um, Marsh McLuhan. Uh, then you could have New Age, relying on the astral body literature, all the religious literature and the esoteric wisdom that Jay Kinney and others popularized back in the 80s. Uh, with the Utsi Reader and magazines like that. Jay Kinney didn't do Utsi Reader, but he had other ones. I'm uh, just taking a, uh, a little flight with Jay. He's probably not even alive anymore. But, but the point is, is that the astral body legacy is what the, the uh, Dalai Lama represents. And that imagery is inadequate to describe the amazing situation we're in now. And then on top of that, I've been saying this for 30 years, because I spoke it so powerfully, I evoked with Carolyn, and you know, the solution, the, the soma, RNA drops, to, uh, to sort of make you feel good while you try to understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, don't, I still don't understand what you're talking about. You can't. It requires a lot of perceptual uh, detachment. Uh, it, it's, it's actually, it's language that will not aid you. It's something to learn that will not aid you. It's not accepting the great wisdoms of this and that. It's going to make you, as Frank Zappa said, we're going to turn you loose. We're not going to turn you on. We're going to turn you loose. Loosen up all. People run around to go to Peru to take ayahuasca to loosen their, their 3D brains up. Well, or they would use comedian to loosen their brains up? Yes. They use, that's the four kinds of drugs. You can use Rush Limbaugh to loosen your brain up. You can use um, Martin McLuhan. You can use Wired Magazine, you could use um, Deepak Chopra or the Dalai Lama, or you could use the most sophisticated uh, digital hypnotists like the Wachowski Brothers re uh, represents the movie The Matrix and all those other great movies that have come down uh, over the last 10 years. All those are drugs and anesthetics. And if you're reliant on them, if you really require, uh, I would say if you are not ascended, if you require a new movie to be made, a new record, or a new music experience, or a new star, or a new sporting event, or a new this and that, some sensory stimulus through the digital body, 
an ascended person would recognize that we have enough on record in recording to last you forever. Already. Now, we're not going to stop this because there's always more being created, but it's just a way of looking that people's sense of values.